everyone, it's Cece. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Punisher's Crypt and some monsters that you should be building to do this dungeon. So with the Punisher's Crypt, um, there's a few different ways that you can kind of tackle this and approach this. One of the ways would be to bring in units that you can kind of sustain so that you can take them down. The other way would be bringing in dots, 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 dots. Can't say it enough, dots. <laughs> And that's the one that seems to be the most effective strategy is bringing in units that can put dots onto the boss so that you're able to take it down quickly because in the Punisher's Crypt, it gets a lot of turns and then things can get messy and your whole team just kind of falls apart. I'm sure you've witnessed that. I'm sure you've tried it and you've seen it and you're probably in the same boat I was in when I first tried it. So since then, I've actually tried out a few different units, a few different teams. Um, I'm still actually playing around with it and trying to find what works, but I've kind of narrowed down to the units that will definitely help you out in building it and some different strategies. So one of the first strategies is that if you're struggling with this, go back to the Steel Fortress because that one is a little bit easier to do than this one and you can get artifacts from that one that you can actually put onto your units that might help you out when you're in here doing this one. So for the purposes of this video and for right now, none of my units have any artifacts equipped onto them. Um, I've also collected a lot of rares. Are you guys in the same boat? Do you have a lot of rare units and you're wondering where's the heroes and legendaries? Because same, but we make it work. It's fine. They'll, they'll drop eventually or something. <laughs> so if you are struggling with this one, go back to the other one, collect some more artifacts, and then go ahead and try to tackle this one again. The other strategy would be that if you can't do the boss head on, go ahead and go back to the good old tower days. So taking out left tower, right tower boss. Um, it'll be slower, but it, it, it's doable. Might be doable or bring in enough sustain that you can go head on in the boss, but you'll have to try to outlast all the turns he gets. So for this dungeon, let's actually talk about the units that you should be building and the ones you should be bringing into this. So one of the first things is normally with dungeons, the first thing we go to is like bringing in a Lauren, right? Like we want a Lauren, we want a Hua. Not in this dungeon. We don't want that because it's just going to give them another turn. So throwing them aside, we're not actually going to use them for this dungeon. So one of the first units that you should be building and bringing in is Verdi. You're going to want to bring in a Verdi because you're going to want to cycle through, speed everybody up, get more turns. Um, so this is mine right now. I'm, I don't have end game stats or anything. So you, like, you can take a look. He's not that fast. He could be a lot faster. Um, his crit rate has also dropped recently when I was kind of playing around and switching his runes. Uh, my Verdi is on an HP build though. Um, just for the sustain, I'm strictly using him in this case, like this Verdi for dungeons and for these bosses. So I do have him with HP, kind of help him out last a little bit. But he is one of those units that you should be building for this dungeon. The other one that will help you a lot is your homunculus. Bringing in a fire attack type homunculus built with like dots on dots on dots will help you a lot. So if you haven't done your homunculus yet, or maybe you have a different build on him and you're struggling, um, this is a great way to kind of overcome that. He's a really good unit to use here. And for myself, I actually don't use my homunculus anywhere else. Um, maybe in TOA a little bit, but in terms of like trying to do these dungeons, I've put my priority onto him right now. I used to have him water, switched him over to fire, and now he has been like a lifesaver in this dungeon. <laughs> so I would also highly suggest bringing in homunculus bringing in with all the continuous damage you can get. So flame ray chain, ignite magic bullet chain, flame explosion, dots on dots, right? Your next unit that you should be building is a Raok Second Awakened. Um, actually two if you can, like if you're planning to do the dots on dots and like go head on with the boss, it actually works better if you do have two of them built um, because doing that team up is just insane and they'll take them down super quick. So if you're trying to do like faster speed runs, Two Second Awakened Rare Oaks would be good. Um, in terms of this video and where I am right now in the account, I only have one built right now, so I can only use one. But I am planning on doing a second one, getting him built and six starred for the dungeon. But a Second Awakened Rare Oaks should definitely be on your list for units to bring into this dungeon. Um, I would actually replace one of my other units I'm using with a second one. Um, but for right now, I'm bringing, I like, I use Yen as well. Um, some people are using Pang, but for myself, uh, Yen is the one that I have right now that I've been using. She also helps apply some dots, but she's probably one of the units I may consider taking out, switching out for somebody else. 
but if you find that you're needing some more, either her or Peng does work really well. Um, I'm using Yen though. And for another one that you should be considering building, um, so there's different ways to look at this. Like if you're doing the speed dots, you won't need this unit, but if you aren't quite there yet with runes or you find you're struggling a little bit more, then a great option would be to bring in a second awakened Jolton. Um, and for the notes of saying, none of my second awakened units are skilled up. I haven't gone ahead and put in any like devil mons or any other second awakened units. I have a lot of time to spend in the dimensional <laughs> to try to get all these other units second awakened to second heroic and everything. So I'm not really worrying about skill ups right now. Of course they always help. Um, but bringing in a second awakened Jolton can help you with some survivability if you need it. And you're not at that point yet where you can kind of go head on with the boss and just like dot him to death. With uh, your Jolton, you're gonna wanna give him some speed. I consider mine to be slow at the 102 bonus. Like he, he could definitely be faster than that, but considering he's not on a speed rune right now, then I'll, I'll take it, it's good enough. But you're gonna want him to be tanky as well. So as much HP as you can get on him. I do have mine on three HP runes right now with just speed subs. Um, and it, he's on like random type runes. It was pretty much whatever I can get that's got like some speed on it. <laughs> is kind of what I've worried about with my Jolton. But that's the one that I'm kind of bringing in. So if you're struggling, you should definitely consider building him as one of those units to bring into this dungeon. So the team that I'm currently using right now would be my Verdi, my second awakened Jolton, my second awakened Raok, my Fran, and then my Fire Homunculus. Um, so I played around with Yen, like I did mention, she's one that I kind of did use before at some point. But for the purposes of the team that I found that works the best for me, these would be like my key units that I'm able to use right now. Um, so with this tactic, we're also not going in for the towers. We are going straight for the boss and trying to take him down as quick as we can and putting on as many dots as we possibly can as well. <laughs> So with this one as well, I did bring in a friend for my team because I found that I was kind of lacking a little bit and I needed some more sustainability. So something I highly suggest is when you're doing these dungeons is watch your team and actually look at where you're lacking. And if you're not able to do a speed team right away, I didn't select the boss, give me one second. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. There, okay. <laughs> Um, so if you're not able to take down the boss right away and you find that you're dying, um, two different approaches. One is you can go to that tower method I talked about earlier, take out the towers first and then go for the boss and bring in some more sustained units as opposed to trying to kill it quick and go for dots. Um, the other approach is take a step back, go back to steel, get some artifacts, equip them on your units and then come back and try again. I know it can be a little bit frustrating going into new dungeons and maybe overwhelming and like you just don't want to bother with it. Um, I get it. Trust me, I definitely do. It take, took a little bit of like playing around the teams and the units to figure out what works for you, which is important is figuring out what's going to work for you in a team. Um, but these are just units that I would suggest if you are having trouble with these dungeons to go ahead and build and try it out for yourself. So I also like Fran in here because she does have the immunity, which does help out quite a bit. Since this boss is just taking like turns on turns. Um, the other thing is when you want those violent procs, right? You kind of always hope for those when you are able to get them. So you'll notice like Jolton a little bit tankier, um, which is nice. You're going to need that sustainability. Um, at some point, like it might be the same with you guys. I actually had to rerune quite a few of my units because I had them built kind of for other things or units I haven't used in a while or touched in a while. and. I kind of looked at the runes and I was like, wait a minute, like this is built like for more of an attack type, but I'm not going to need that here. I'm going to need sustainability. So that's kind of what I went with here as well. So, ooh, see, it get, it's close though. We need more dots, like ASAP. There you go. Additional turn. There it is. <laughs> so like you'll see some of my team died, but they're able to do it. So. With this one, um, it's gonna vary as well. Like that time is two minutes. This is by no means a speed run. It's just more of a run that's gonna work for now, get me through to get these artifacts, and then I'll go ahead and play around with like faster teams. But if you're struggling, consider building these units. Um, the ones I would definitely suggest though is that homunculus, Yorauk, and the Jolton. Like he's not necessarily needed, and I wouldn't say that he is needed for here, but he does help quite a bit. So that's the team that I'm running. This is what I'm working on right now, and it's not a rare. Look at that. 
<laughs> I don't know how your guys' artifacts have been going, but might have been a little, a little questionable all over the place. But hopefully this video helped you guys out with your Punisher's Crypt a little bit, or at least gave you some ideas of some different units to maybe build. Maybe you've already built them or you're already using them. So comment down below what teams you're using, what units you're using. Um, and how just in general you feel about it and the artifacts, let me know. And if you liked the video, if it helped you, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. It lets me know you want to see more of this content. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. So bye for now. Next level.